Well, how's it going? This is Dylan. Dylan Pickups? No. Well, how's it going? We're going to do something a little fun. Ugh. Huh? Drink some first. Coffee first, then shoot the video. How's it going? This is Dylan. So today we're going to do something fun. Uh, it's already done. I did the same thing with this Bigsby video last week. We'll link to that one right there. Let's go back in time and let's put this guitar together. So this is one of our Dylan Custom Guitars Inspire Series guitars. Uh, they start at 1149 on DylanTalksTone.com and they come in a few colors with a few options. This one has a couple of options. Uh, the humbucker pickup in the neck or in the bridge position. So here's what we're gonna do. I've been getting tons of requests for like a time-lapse build or like a beginning to end build. It's kind of tough to actually time-lapse one of these because you're, you know, some of the stuff I'm doing at one bench, some of it I'm doing at another bench, but I did my best to shoot this to where you could see from beginning to end the final assembly of the guitar. Now, I did not show you um, routing the pickups because uh, we actually, uh, this body, has it was a single 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 and we routed a, net, a bridge humbucker in there i did not show that part because that and drilling the holes for the bridge and a couple of the other holes it's honestly it's just too much pressure to do on camera i just don't like doing that stuff on camera so i did it yesterday i got it all kind of ready and we got everything kind of um now i didn't like pre-assemble it or anything but i did pre-drill all the holes, I got everything ready. So what you're seeing is basically the final assembly. So it's the bridge, the loaded pick guard, uh, because I'm doing this kind of in components, right? So the loaded pick guard that you can get at our website, that went in as one unit, the bridge, the jack, soldering the jack on, uh, running the ground wire, uh, let's see, mounting the tuners on the peg head, that was another thing. So showing all of that stuff. So let me show that to you now. Let's build a Dylan Custom Guitars S Style Inspire Series guitar. Oh look, I'm wearing different clothes. Yeah, because I was shooting that video and I shot a conclusion for it and I cut it off for some reason to do something else and so here we are reshooting it. Anyway, uh, it's the next day. Um, we've got strings on it, the guitar is set up. I still wanna fiddle with a couple of things. Um, I want to get the tremolo to come up a full step so when you pull up on the bar to actually have it come up a full step. So we're going to do that. I'll probably do a video on that. We actually already have one about how to set up a strat trem to float, 
but we will do another uh, we'll do another one we'll do it with this with this guitar and uh, I think it's pretty sweet these are available on the website if you want one you can go buy it it's pretty sweet if you want to see something else kind of built like that you know uh, it's cool kind of to see all that process at once building guitars takes a long time I mean what do we get it in like two and a half minutes uh, that was a long time that was actually a lot of time condensed into one and that was just putting the parts on. That was not drilling anything, that was not routing anything, that was not painting anything, that was not putting the finish on the neck, that was not placing the peg head decal stuff, that was not winding the pickups, building the pick, you know what I mean? There's hours and hours and hours and hours that go into this thing. And so, just to show you a little bit, it's been a requested video for a long time. There you go, boom, we put a guitar together. It's pretty cool. Now, ooh. Sorry, drop my lens cap. Uh, I tell you what, let's go ahead and go over some questions uh, and comments from our recent videos and give you guys some shout outs and stuff. And there's been some interesting ones in there. We'll have to check. All right, let's go over some of these comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, Z King Zhao brings up a question. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, obviously. Uh, great video, bro. Here's my question. Does a screw hole, screw coil sound different from the slug coil when splitting a humbucker or should I split the inner or outer coil? Really good question. Uh, it does sound different more based on the location than the actual whether it's a screw or a slug. Um, we should do a video on this because I have a guitar that we can actually switch back and forth and I can show you. So um, we'll do that. That's a, that's a really cool one. But yeah, it does because of the location because it moves it a little bit, right? So, all right, Charlie Maddox says, hashtag gift your son's guitars, fellas. If we all do it, just imagine, even if our, even give other people's kids a guitar, just get them out there. Yeah, man, exactly. Uh, get people playing and don't forget girls. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of young girls learning to play too and this is where it gets really cool because I think people should like not get onto guitar players and kids if they want to plug into an iPad or if they want to learn mix some electronica with it learn a Justin Bieber song it doesn't matter right get them playing guitar and that's how you're gonna get young people to play guitar build these like cheap guitars into good guitars for them and let them play what they want let them play what they want. Um, Paul Casper says, as pickups degrade over time, how can you tell the way a particular pickup sound was when it was new in the late 60s? This is an interesting one. They degrade over time, yes. The, the number on a pickup, so like A2, A3, A4, A5, uh, those are an indication of the maximum strength, if you will, of the pickup uh, when it was new. You can you can magnetize a pickup up to that level, that amount of gauze, for, it's different for each one, but you can also magnetize them not up to that level, like up to 40%, 70%, right? Then they degrade over time. So there's really no way to tell that um, they're, because they don't make magnets the same way they did back then. Sand cast versus centered, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do with that. So there's really no accurate way to tell that. So if you get really caught up in that entire conversation it's kind of pointless um, just find a pickup that works for you and use it um, or go to somebody like me who can like vary it like to your to your specs you know that's the sort of thing that that makes that kind of fun but if you're trying to chase something it's really really hard to do that all right and lastly this is a little rant about positivity versus negativity in the comment section. This dude says, look at John Bolger from Premier, or from Rig Rundown. He's so guitarded. He has a 62 Strat because he thinks he does not have enough sustain. He soldered a blah, 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 blah. He goes on there. Things that people do to this poor guitar. Here's where I get a little irritated sometimes and a little disappointed actually. Disappointed is probably more the right word with people in the comments section. Uh, we're trying to build a community here that's positive, is welcoming to people to come, want to come learn stuff. And you can put your opinions in there, that's fine. Um, absolutely no problem with that. Um, and you're gonna differ, your comments, are gonna, your opinions are gonna differ with, with what I know to be true of the guitar. You know, I mean, that's fine. Everybody has that. And you know, I don't care if you think that 
tone wood matters or that finish thickness matters or that any of that stuff. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Um, I know what the facts are, but it doesn't bother me that you feel differently about it. it. doesn't bother me at all whatsoever. And actually, I don't take comments personally or anything. But what I do not like is stuff that's unnecessarily negative because I don't have time for it. We have like thousands of views every day. And we're trying to build this community to be welcoming for people to come and learn this stuff, right? So when you get people that are constantly negative, I actually deleted a comment uh, this week, not because he was cussing and stuff, because those are automatically out. Um, but when you're just that guy, you know, that just comments every time, yeah, well, this sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Well, you didn't do this right. Well, and just trying to pick and pick and pick. Dude, we don't have time for that, man. We don't. And, and you know you're doing it, right? You know the sort of community that we build around here. And um, so be a part of it. If you wanna be a part of it, that's cool. If not, there's other YouTube channels um, where you can go and, and, and do that, and that's fine. And, and I'm not saying I wanna lose you as a viewer, but I'm also saying we are trying to build a sort of community around here. And if you don't want to contribute in that way, then, you know, it's the don't say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything, you know. And people will say, and they say to me all the time, well, that's just the internet. No, you know, this dude's name is next to, he's a guy, that's a person. You know, there's a person on the other side of this camera. I'm a person, you're a person, we're all people. And when you say something in a comment section, whether your name is your real name or whether it's Ding Dong 427, you're still a real person. So just remember that, you know, that you are contributing to the world in a particular way. And we hope that it is positive and we hope that you are part of our community. And I hope that you, you can stay here and do that. But, you know, if you're not that kind of person, if you don't want to be that kind of person or contribute in that way, uh, there's lots of YouTube channels that allow that stuff and put up with that stuff, but just not here. You know what I mean? So, um, I just want to mention that because if you follow our Facebook page, if you follow this, if you follow our Instagram, all that stuff, you'll find that it is pretty much to be inviting to players. That's what we're trying to do. Um, just like that other comment earlier about like getting your kids guitars, you know, um, and you're going to see more of that. Like we're going to talk a lot about playing guitar and not just the technicalities of it but helping people to share what they do because youtube instagram snapchat pop music electronica all that stuff is going to meld all together and make really amazing music and the old traditional people might not like it and they might not care and they might think it's stupid but it doesn't matter really you know um john mayer said in a video and this is one of the first things that's made I never liked him I started to like him when he said don't impose your age on the young don't do it and this kind of stuff does that so anyway everybody have a great day thanks for hanging out with me if you have any questions or comments about any of the stuff we talked about today put it in the comments I want to hear about it let's have a conversation and uh, this was a fun video I want to do another one like this uh, so let me know what you think. All right, man. We'll talk to you soon.